Hello everybody, we're back. And we're gonna go on to the Demon Bros since we've gotten all of the bosses done uh, so far. Except for, oh god. We have not done Champion Grave Tender or Champion, uh, and Champion Grave Wolf. Um, Great Wolf, rather. So we're gonna go do that, which is, of course, a lot of fun because getting down to that area isn't a bunch of fucking RNG bullshit in the first place. But on the bright side, at least, we aren't losing that many souls in the process. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go, go, go. And rush down there and head down there and do the damn thing, do the thing, thing. Do the damn thing, do the thing, thing. We're gonna eat a green blossom so that way we can keep moving at a fast speed. I cut the bridge right here because I'm feeling cheeky. Yeah, we made it to the end in time. Made it to the end in time. There we go. I knew it wasn't gonna collapse for a while. There we go. See that? That is called finesse. Uh, we're gonna keep the uh, I keep the silver serpent ring on. We're gonna give a champion grave tender and champion grave wolf a or great wolf a chance to um, to prove themselves in the uh, in the uh, arena of combat. We're gonna land down here. We're gonna fucking. Go up behind this guy and fucking smash him a couple of times. And he did not fall off of the cliff like I was intending him to. So that's okay. We're gonna fucking dodge out of the way of his big attacks. We're gonna dodge out of the way of his big attacks. And fucking own him. Because that's what he gets for being there in the first place. Idiot. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Grab this crystal lizard down here. We're gonna grab the Twinkling Titanite. We're gonna grab this guy. We're gonna slaughter him. We're going to nearly get hit by a javelin, but not quite. We're gonna fucking slaughter this guy as well. And we're gonna go down the safe way, if there is a safe way that we can discern to get down from here. And we're gonna pick up a follower set, Aber. Hello, thank you, um, mysterious benefactor. Oh god. Okay, we're dead. We got a little cheeky there. We got past all the enemies, but we still failed because of the fall damage. Now uh, we're gonna use the um, we're gonna use the silver cat ring next time and see if it's possible to survive that fall or if you just die every time um, from that height. So we'll see. We will see. We're gonna go grab our silver cat ring out of the box. We're going to grab that out of the box. We're going to grab that out of the box. We're going to grab that out of the box. There it is. We're going to equip that in place of our a uh, covetous silver serpent ring plus three because we don't really need it for those shrimpy enemies down there. We're going to cut the bridge uh, right about here. We're going to cut the bridge. We're going to run. We're going to run, 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 run. And we made it just in time for the bridge to fall over. Thank fuck. That was cutting in a little close for comfort. We're gonna proc the dried finger just in case anybody's invading in this area. I don't think they are, but just in case. They're especially not going to invade down here. There's a lot of a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass to fucking play around with. Pain of the ass. Yeah, that's a good one, brain. Oh man, I'm tired. I have been uh, recording for God knows how long, and my brain is tired, and it refuses to work anymore. Um, refused to work uh, earlier when I was talking to my grandma. That uh, was embarrassing. Alright, there we go. Get the fuck out of here, big guy. Grab 
the uh, large tit that he drops. And we're going to see exactly whether or not we can survive the fall down here. Down here. Down here. Alright. Let's see if we can survive this fall down here after we take care of these enemies real quick. And after we take care of that one over there. And we're going to kick this guy and fucking beat the shit out of him merrily as we go along. Steadily as we go along. We're actually going to take the safe path uh, down this time, I've decided. Uh, that would be this path right here. Uh, believe it or not, this is the safe path. And uh, boom. Now up there, I think, is the follower's saber. I don't remember exactly where that fucking thing is, but oh well. And we survived the fall. Thanks for the ride, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ride all the way down. And we'll see if he can nail a shot from there. He can't. He can't, which is good. Good for us. All right, so we're gonna go beat the boss, and then we're gonna go grab the slab that's in this area, and we're gonna go grab the other slab from the Corvian settlement, and then we will be on to um, Le Boss, uh, Le Demon Bros, Le Demon Bros. We use Power Within because I decided I'm gonna be mean for uh, a portion of this and we're gonna it's not gonna be a very long portion only about 30 seconds of punishment should be fine for him especially if he chomps on damage like that Jesus Jesus Christ dude he killed me holy shit dude he chomped on damage quick okay that was surprising uh, we're still gonna give him a good try without the buffs, though. Um, we're gonna do it without power in this time. We're gonna see how good our damage is. It should be fine. It should be fair to middling. Um, at a 20% increase, let me do the calcs real quick. Nine, uh, 896 times 20 percent is 0.2 no that can't be right divided by oh that's 179.2 extra AR so let's see if we did that calculation right um, yeah that sounds about right sounds about right all things considered uh, yeah uh, we uh, applied power within a little early there, but we have more than enough FP to cover it as soon as we get into the boss arena. And as soon as we get close, we're going to apply it again. Really need to get the shit out of my inventory for this attempt. Uh, boom. Grab the mendicant staff. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to go immediately after these wolves. Because they make the fight infinitely more difficult. Eh. 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 Oh god. Oh god. Wow. Wow, that did a lot of damage, bud. Heal, 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 heal. Oh god. Alright, that did a lot of damage there, bud. There you go. There you go. Eat some damage, courtesy of me. There you go. We're going to try and get this fucker out of the way as soon as humanly possible. So that way we can get on to the real boss fight, which is with uh, Sif 2.0. The Sif 2.0 is quite a vicious beast. As you'll see here in a second, if he'll demonstrate his awesome power to us. Oh, he was thinking about it. He was thinking about it. He's a little camera shy, though. There he goes. There he goes, into the bullshit attacks of doom, and uh, down to just two S's left here, we're going to try and get through this as quickly as possible without any casualties, we're going to try and avoid his ice rep there, 
We're gonna do so successfully. We're gonna stagger him. And we're gonna go for the stagger and the kill. Boom. Let's see how you do with that. We're gonna grab the souls. A gratuitous amount of souls. Actually, it's not shit. Spoiler alert. We're gonna drink our 1Fs this remaining. Because fuck it, I'm feeling cheeky. Yeah, we didn't get that bad of a soul gain from him. We're going to uh, take off that helmet that is killing me slowly. We're going to put this on and put this back on. And we're going to put the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring plus two back on. We're going to rest of the spawn pyre here. We're going to rest of the depths of the painting. We're going to climb up the gigantic, la the longest ladder in all of the fucking all of DS3 into the um, into the area with the um, what is it called? Titanite slab. That there we go. See, my brain is not working very well. Um. But I'm running on sheer fucking animosity. There's the word I was looking for. See, maybe it is working really well. Maybe it is working well in tandem, in parts, in in sections. Sections of it are working. Other sections are iffy. Um, communications are down. But uh, we're gonna fucking per persevere in animosity. And uh, sheer determination against NG plus five. And we're gonna get it done today before I get any sleep, which uh, might sound stupid to you guys, but I am here. I am dedicated to the content and to making delicious content for you guys and girls and everybody else. I'll we'll grab another cast, uh, another um, copy of Snap Breeze. Because why the fuck not? And we're gonna run along here. We're gonna run along. We're gonna run along. We got one more tree to take out, I think, before the ladder drops. No, the ladder dropped anyway. We're gonna take out this tree anyway. Because she swings, flings fireballs at us. Fuck you, tree. Fun fact those trees drop alluring skulls. Um, lore reason for it, I have no fucking clue. But anyway, while we're climbing up this very tall ladder, let me explain to you uh, poise health. So poise health is determined by the um, by the amount of armor that you're wearing and the uh, poise that you have with that armor. And uh, every weapon has a poise health damage um, thing on it, and it uh, does um, poise damage. You can look up those. Um, look up those uh, tables for yourself at some point but basically big weapons do big poise damage little weapons do little poise damage there are some exceptions to every rule um, and yeah basically when your poise health hits zero um, that's when you get staggered or so I think that's my understanding of it uh, you start at like 100 poise health, and then um, treasure ahead. Therefore, be, let there be hidden path. <laughs> fuck off. I'm glad I rated that good, but fuck off. And um, if you want to figure out poise health, uh, look it up on the wiki. It'll do a much better job of explaining it than my muddled brain will ever be able to explain it. Um... If you're interested, uh, hit me up, and I have a Dark Souls 3 mechanic cheat sheet um, that explains all the mechanics of Dark Souls 3 in detail and gives calcula calculators uh, where you can calculate um, everything that your heart's everything that your heart could ever desire and more. And um, you can just uh, figure out just about every single possible threat that could come to your build. That's why I build my builds very specifically. Because they have not only good poise, we have 26 poise, 
but um, um, it would be more with the wolf ring on, but I don't have the wolf ring plus three on me right now, so we're just going to ignore the screaming. There's a lot of screaming in fucking Ariandel. A lot of screeching, which is painful to my eardrums, but I do it for you guys, the people, so you don't have to. Um, and so you can watch and enjoy my videos. Um, so we're gonna grab the uh, we're gonna grab the slab from this guy. There we go. We'll grab that, and we're done here. We're done at Ariandel Chapel, and we got another boss done and out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the within the Earthen Peak Ruins uh, bonfire and we're going to cut a bit there. I uh, hope you guys and girls and everybody else enjoyed this. And um, I've decided as my 1000 view uh, overall on the channel celebration, I will be doing Sellsword Luet for the entirety of um, New Game Plus 6. We are at 1,012 views overall on the channel. Thank you so much for such a humbling number of views. Me and Serva both thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And until next time, when we suffer more, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. All right, there we go.